Okay everyone, this is Joshua, Future Filmmaker Reviews, I talk movies, TV, music. We got a trailer reaction. This is going to be for the recent trailer for Avatar White of the Water, the 13 year long awaited sequel to Avatar. One of the most highest grossing movies in film history, especially with its re-release. This is of course by filmmaker mastermind James Cameron if you saw my teaser trailer thoughts this is one of the movies of 2022 that I've been conflicted on mainly mixed to positive to negative but I've been having some pretty conflicting thoughts the teaser trailer I didn't really think give us much of what as we would expect from the story the visuals looked great in that trailer, and I like the fact that it was a simple trailer. I have been a little disappointed when it comes to the marketing so far, because you would think, with this being one of the most highly anticipated sequels, we would see what story he's James Cameron's going to cook up for the world of Pandora. But, we just got a new trailer, I'm going to react to it, and then I'm going to give you guys my final thoughts. So, and stick around, because I will be announcing something at the end. That is gorgeous, I must admit. You can tell that the effects has been improving since 13 years when he first did I this. You think I'm crazy? those big rocks. But I feel her. Okay. The wall of Pandora, it I looks amazing. Heartbeat. She's so close. What does her heartbeat sound like? Great visuals. I will, I gotta Mike. admit. Especially that. Oh! You didn't have to go that hard, James Cameron. Please tell me this is not who I think it is. We cannot let you bring your war here. Outcast. That's all they see. I see you. The way of water connects all things. Before your birth. And after your death. This is our home! I need you with me, and I need you to be strong. Okay, so it's like a war and on the one thing. Strong heart. Well. Okay, alright, so that was the first trailer, let me just take these off and we'll talk okay. about it. So, that was the second trailer. I will be honest sir, I enjoyed this trailer a bit more than the, a little bit more than the first trailer. It looks visually stunning, of course. This is James Cameron. You can tell that he's put his all into the effects, motion capture work. Even though people say it's not real actors, these are actors having to perform over motion capture. And I will agree, I do miss James Cameron using real people in real locations. The World of Pandora looks absolutely phenomenal like beautiful 
And there are some interesting things I could pick up on this trailer. You got Jake and his family on the run. There's something going on with his daughter. And there's some kind of war going on once again. But that's pretty much the only thing I get got out of this trailer. And the problem I'm having when it comes to this, both of these trailers is that I get on one end, they're not showing a lot of the story. They don't want to give too much away. On the other end, you have great visuals going on here and I wholeheartedly respect that. The problem that I overall am having when it comes to this is this, I don't know what James Cameron is trying to do when it comes to this story. He said that he's been working with writers and he's have a plan has a plan for this. And I hope his plan for this big franchise, even though we don't really need five of these movies, you could easily do a trilogy of films. You still have to respect camera for fighting against the usuals. I'm hoping the plan with these sequels is that we do see the big full picture he's trying to paint. Otherwise, making four more sequels to this, it is not going to really pay off. And it will solidify the fact that it should have just been a one and done. That doesn't say that I hate the trailer or anything, because I just said I think the visuals look great. Technical wise, cinematography wise, outstanding. The World of Pandora looks even just as great as it did 13 years ago with some new advantages. The performances in this trailer looks great. There are some more lines of dialogue and there are some interesting things I do like when it comes to Jake's daughter, what's going on with her. Of course, that's stuff we would like to know for the movie even though the movie is 3 hours and 10 minutes long which I've done a whole rant about the runtime of this on my social media on Facebook if you guys will follow me there. I don't think the runtime will be warranted but I'm going to have optimistic faith give it a chance. I'm not going to hate this movie because everyone else is doing it. That's not my intention. I'm going to optimistic. This looks good. Between this whole bullshit war with Avatar fans and the Marvel fans and James Cameron. Shut up! Oh, stop it! Shut the fuck up! And between both of these trailers just feeling very mad to me. I can't say I'm very excited to see this because of that factor and the fact that this bullshit war on social media with people saying if you don't love this trailer or you don't like Avatar, f screw you. What the fuck, fuck, fuck is it fucking insane? And this whole James Cameron thing will war with Marvel and DC, which I will agree with some things with Marvel, because Marvel, they do need to work on some of their characters acting like immature brats. And they need a little bit more time with some of their visual effects, which is why I'm happy they're pushing things back a little bit. All of that said, I just hope something good comes out of this. I don't want to be sitting here watching this movie on December 16th and this would be the first James Cameron movie I hit flat out hate, which I did highly doubt it because his track record has been great. But I just hope that we, by the time this movie comes out, and as much as I still say movies that are three hours, especially this, should have an intermission. For people to take a break. I just hope something great comes out of this. I don't want to rant on this movie when it comes out, but if the movie doesn't justify itself, if I don't end up enjoying this movie the way I want to, even with issues, is I'm going to give it a pretty frustrating review. I'm going to be honest about this movie. I'm not going to sugarcoat it because everyone else is just being blown out of their minds of it. That's not me. I'm going to be honest about it. Overall, if I was to judge this, 
it's a fine second trailer. Didn't hate it, didn't love it, in the middle. Great visuals, great production design, great motion capture underwater technology, I have to say, because Aquaman was just the start, and this just makes it improve even more. But I'm a little frustrated in some of these images where is the story is where is we going with the story and also this is just bringing back characters you don't really need to bring back which we'll see how it is in the movie but i hope they explain why stephen lang is back in this even though he clearly died at the end of the first film sigourney weaver i can give it an excuse because she's playing a, a different character but we need an explanation on stephen lang I'm sure James Cameron's got it all figured out. Maybe there's some surprises in there. I was just pretty frustrated with the trailer. Not a bad trailer, just there. Now that you made it to the end of this trailer reaction, I can make this announcement. If you've been seeing my community tab or follow me on Facebook or Instagram or such, I would probably even announce this on Twitter. I think I did. I will be reviewing all of James Cameron's other movies leading up to this film. I've already reviewed The Abyss, the Abyss when I was on a little hiatus in, in the 2018 for Halloween section. I didn't upload that until 2019. And if you've been noticing on my channel, a few videos has been getting deleted by myself because I'm going to be re-reviewing some stuff. It's I'll make a separate video, like a channel update, announcing that. I'm going to be reviewing every James Cameron movie from Piranha 2 all the way up to the original Avatar. This includes Piranha 2, The Spawning, which I know he hates, re-reviews for Terminator 1, Terminator 2, Judgment Day, Titanic, the original Avatar, and the original Aliens, because it's been a few years since I first reviewed that. And I'll also be doing reviews for Ghost of the Abyss, Aliens in the Deep, his two documentaries, and I will finally get to talk about True Lies, because that movie needs some love. Especially with a 4K Blu-ray James Cameron, where is it? But that was my thoughts on this trailer for Avatar Way of the Water. Frustrating trailer, cautiously optimistic, but I don't hate it. Plus my announcements for a director's review series. Well, that's going to do it for the video that you just watched. I will have my channel here, so you would like to see anything here. Click the channel icon, subscribe for more. I will also leave a video and maybe a playlist here, so in case you want to see what I'm about. As always, stay up, Assassinist, join the Assassinist, and you guys keep it cool.